welcome. I'm just about to record for you a short summary of our beginner's solo slow waltz practice routine number five and this was taught on the 8th of February 2022. So if you're looking in the video library, you're looking for the solo slow waltz channel in the beginner's page and you are looking down the list for the full one hour class on the 8th of February 2022. And this was a short summary of the routine that we had by the end of that lesson. Let me make a start and face the front. The technique in today's lesson we were looking at was heel turns. Okay, so there's a focus on heel turns in the routine. So I'm going to start with a box step. Now, in the class I started with right foot back and left foot forwards. Here we go. And then I added in anti-clockwise rotation or left hand or reverse. Remember, we've got three ways of talking about that side. You can do two, three, four pairs, whatever you need to do to get around. That's up to you. I then did a right foot back whisk. This would be the followers back and a whisk to chassis. Okay, so that is a basic right foot back whisk like a follower's timing. I'm going to do a little corner check, then I'm going to go back the other way. So I did corner check and then forwards and chassis here. So that would be very similar to the leader's chassis from a promenade position. Forwards, side, close, side. Okay, let's do those steps again all together. So back right, forwards left. Take some rotation into your box step. Do one more pair, I'll be around. Ready for my right foot back whisk. Chassis, corner check, right foot and chassis, and pause. We then added in a little swivel step. Okay, so I've just done forwards, chassis. Okay, now I'm gonna do right foot corner check, one, two, three. I'm going to do a left foot little swivel, like a little pivot, forwards and pivot, changing the direction. I'm then going to do what is essentially the followers or the ladies spin turn footwork, just a bit in the middle, forwards and open. Because we're solo dancing and we're doing it in the living room, I'm working very much with the left and right wall, the left and right front corners. So I'm under or over rotating steps compared to how they would be in the ballroom. Okay, so remember in the ballroom we have all the space that we need. We can put the correct amount of rotation in as the traditional steps would be. But for the solo dancing in the living room, I'm working with slightly less degrees, okay? So if you're thinking, well, the spin turn should go around further. Of course it should, okay? But it's not in the living room. Now, let's look at the next step. I did the spin turn and do a left foot close change, but more forwards forwards and close. Okay, so rather than going sideways, I'm just going to drive forwards. Forwards and close. I wanted to get to the right hand front corner of the space so that I could do two heel turn practices. Back, heel turn, exit. Back, heel turn, exit. I'm in my jazz shoes today, recording so many videos one after the other today, I thought I'm just going to put jazz shoes on rather than my heels. So apologies. The heels on these are nearly gone as well. So let us go from uh, the two heel turns that we're going to add on a, a reverse corte. Uh, and this is going to be on the leader's timing. So let's do the two heel turns. Back, heel turn, exit. Back, heel turn, exit. Now this is back, heel and settle. Okay. So instead of heel turn and exit forwards, I'm going to settle the right leg underneath. I go back heels settle and there's no weight on my left foot because I want to use that one okay and then from here I'm going to do a little side step a little hesitation and then I could set off and repeat the routine again let's do the whole thing from the very top here we go box step one two three 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 one Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Whisk, two, three. Chassis, two and three. Check, two, 
three. Chassis, two and three. Check, two, three. Pivot, two, three. Spin, two, three. Forwards and change. Back, heel turn and exit. Back, heel turn, exit. Back, heel turn, settle, side, drag. Wow, that was good of me to actually manage to get all the way through that and still keep breathing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That was beginners solo slow waltz practice routine number five. It was taught in a full class on the 8th of February 2022 if you're looking in the full video channel list. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep practicing and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.